Soon it's the end of April. Another month has passed. All the snow and ice has melted. Winter has said goodbye to us for this time. May is around the corner. The last month of spring. The month when everything starts to grow. The month when nature really awakens. The days are getting brighter. The temperature is getting warmer. You can feel the warmth from the sun. Sometimes it feels like time goes by so fast. And that's something I've noticed with getting older. It can really feel like time flies. But I have learned a way to slow down time. And that is by being out in nature. To disconnect from everything, from the outside world, it's just me and nature. I watch it, I feel it, I enjoy it, I appreciate it. And I love it. Somebody home? I don't think I need to use the heater right now, honestly. It's pretty warm in here because the sun has been shining on the truck for the whole day. <laughs> So today I'm going to cook a classic Swedish meal and it's called ragmunker. <laughs> ragmunker. It's called rag, ragmunker. But yeah, so I'm going to make that today. Ragmunker. Yeah, that's the name of this dish that is very popular in Sweden. It's very simple to make and it tastes really good. All you need is potatoes, flour, milk, egg and salt. First you peel the potatoes. Then mix milk, flour and egg. Salt. Mm. 
grate the potatoes into the mixture. Hey, look, the sun is setting. And the birds are still singing. And then just fry it like pancakes. Very simple. Nice. There is something I need to admit. I have never cooked this dish before. Yep, it's true. Even though it's a Swedish classic. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Um, I don't know. So now I'm gonna fry the bacon. Actually, you're supposed to use side pork, but I don't have side pork today. But I decided to use bacon instead. So let's fry the bacon. In Sweden, we eat ragmunkar with side pork and lingonberry jelly. My favorite jelly, by the way. Some also like to eat ragmunkar with shredded cabbage on the side. If you want the recipe, you can find it below. Seems like more campers are coming. I have no idea why I have never cooked this before, because it's delicious. some cold bacon. Ooh, that was really salt. I don't know why I smelled it. Now let's try it. Mm -hmm. Definitely approved. Honestly, this is so cozy <laughs> to sit here and cook. Yeah, it's really cozy. My clumsy ass. Half past nine. Uh, what does it say? Seven degrees. So here we have our little baby. My precious cat. Okay. 
weirdo. I love you. Yes? I, I still have some gas left in the canister I used last time. I don't think you understand the pure joy I'm feeling right now because of this heater and yeah I'm also thinking like then why didn't I buy one earlier I mean what took it so long right <laughs> I'm gonna brush my teeth in here today. I just peed and it's really cold, but it's a beautiful starry sky outside. Always water twice. By the way, I saw a huge spider earlier, but it was on the outside of the truck. But still, yeah, I don't like spiders. A nightmare would be to wake up and have a spider crawling on your face. Ugh. Ugh. No thank you. Some privacy? Yes, please. Open the vent tile. There we go. I guess you can't see anything right now. But there's not much to see, I guess. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie daisy do. Whoopsie daisy do. Oh, I forgot to close and lock the door. Not good. 
There we go. You know what? It can be open a little bit. It doesn't matter. It's just nice to get some fresh air in here. No spiders? Nope. Okay, good. The zipper always gets stuck. Ah, come on. Oh. Please cooperate with me now. But for fun, yeah, but a fun scalp. I couldn't fix it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good morning. Ah. Oh. And uh, no spiders, as far as I know. I wish I could be here all day, but I need to go home. You know, it's been a few times when I have thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool to just say f everything and move into a truck on full time? Just leave town and live in the truck and everything you own is in the truck. Like you don't, you get rid of all your stuff you have. You only have what you need in the truck. That thought is very tempting, honestly. But who knows, maybe someday I can live in my truck full time. It would be cool to try it at least, for maybe half a year or so. Oh! Um. Oh, they do need it. Maybe I should rename my channel to Linny Comes, because that's exactly what I am. Sha la 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 la. Ja, men tack för tipsen. Ja, det är bra. Nu får du fortsätta. Hej då. The sweetest woman ever just walked up to me. Oh, how how cozy that looks to sit in there. And, <laughs> and she gave me a tip for another place, not so far away from here. So I'm gonna go there someday. She was like, wasn't it cold during the night? She said it was minus 10 last night. Even though I couldn't zip the sleeping bag completely, I still slept pretty good. She came from one of those RVs. Is it called RV, by the way? In Sweden, we call it husbil. I'm feeling happy and I'm feeling good But it's just because I'm sitting here in my pickup truck
yeah it's time to go home by the way thank you for all your comments on my last video about me being accepted to the truck driving school so now it's one week left before it begins thank you guys for watching see you on the next adventure